what's going on everybody quake you here back with another video so today i had an idea to do a different kind of video a more tutorial based video but then i got really tired and so here we are today with today's video being uh, i'm going to show you guys i was scouring through github as you know i've been doing lately and i was looking at little projects that have been uh, put through github constantly and things that other developers have found inspiration from on github and outside of github and I found a few of them here. So I'm gonna look at about four different projects here um, of all of which allow you to experience different OSs or operating systems uh, in the web. And they're not full, full-fledged, but they have a good, nice start for you to be able to kind of just dip your toe or even your like nail into an operating system. So the first one here is by Piyush uh, Suthar. Uh, it is called Windows 11 Web, and basically what it allows you to do is allows you to uh, experience this Windows 11 general, you know, design of Windows 11, but on the web. So if I click this link, bam, you're automatically in the experience right there. And again, this is looks oddly familiar. You can see my full desktop, so you can see uh, exactly how it looks in comparison between the two. You can see that we have the start menu and it's nice and smooth. Search is the same as the start menu looks. I wish that he had put um, a separate search kind of form here because if I type in Windows key S, you can see that you know this is how search looks like, at least in the insider builds for Windows uh, 11 at least. I might have said Windows 11 or Windows 10, who knows, but this is how it looks for search for us normally. But it's right now the same thing as the start menu. It's like the same link that goes to it. Uh, it looks like task view does not work. Widgets does come up. Uh, can you edit? You cannot edit widgets, but it's still a nice look for the widgets. Um, and then if I go to Edge, let's see if Edge comes up. It looks like it's coming soon, but actually, you know, who knows if it's coming soon. Another thing you might notice with this is that you can, in fact, resize windows with it um, and just kind of play around. You do see the Fluent and the mica going through right here so you can see that little bloom uh flower or whatever you want to call it is bleeding through to the background right there and no matter what i move through even the icons like faintly show up through you do have your rounded corners and everything like that the font doesn't look exactly like sego ui uh variable display but it looks close enough um and then if i hit exit you can see the smooth animation for exiting let's see in this corner here do any of these work yep so this area uh, does in fact work. Because if I click it on my side, I was watching Kitchen Nightmares. You can see that's how that stuff looks like. So you can see in this area, you can turn on and off Wi-Fi. Uh, Bluetooth works, uh, at least the toggles work. It doesn't actually do anything because again, it is the web, it's not a real OS. Uh, this is your volume and then you have your, um, what's it called, your brightness slider right there. Battery doesn't do anything. Widgets area doesn't do anything. Settings doesn't do anything just yet. Um, airplane mode does stuff accessibility you can click it so it's just a it's just an interesting thing that you can experience let's see anything else that might pop up it looks like control panel does not work vs code i'm actually genuinely curious okay so this is actually uh vs code on the web it looks like uh for that and then you have a uh, recycling bin what about this pc does this pc work nope it doesn't work so in a nutshell it is pretty nice and another thing i just noticed just now from right clicking is uh, right clicking in fact does work um, there are some placeholders obviously you can't go into settings display settings doesn't work uh, open in Windows terminal does not work view let's see if changing the icon size if it works it's kind of hard to actually go to there we go so if I go to tiles okay so it looks like that doesn't work at all so yeah that was the first one that I wanted to show you from Piyush. Um Next one I wanted to show off is in this one here. This is actually another one that he got inspiration from. All of these he got inspiration from uh, to do his own. And he's got kind of the um, config and stuff for Firefox if that's what you're using. Uh, so now let's go over to this other GitHub. And this is from Shizuk, Shizuk Yulchi. I, I'm probably saying it wrong. Shizuk Yulji. Uh, it is WinXP also on the web not full-fledged but let's take a look at it it says here actually he's got some documentation on this let's go back it says here on this you can resize uh, minimize and basically maintain windows open applications desktop icons or start menu minesweeper internet explorer my computer notepad winamp uh, paint and power off menu do show up and uh, yeah it's pretty nice so let's let's try to go into it now all right so first of all the window dragging is super smooth i love it 
Um, you can, can I, oh, I forgot snapping didn't exist back then, but you can go full screen. Then you have Google search. Obviously this is the current Google search. I remember this area here where it would be like your computer might be at risk when you didn't have a virus scanner because this is before having virus scanners inside your windows. Um, then you got Minesweeper here, pretty terrible at it. I can, can I make this bigger? No, I cannot. Let's minimize that. There we go. So let's see if I can, uh, no, I lost. All right, let's see it again. Nope, lost again. I am terrible at Minesweeper. Oh, oh, wait, getting somewhere, getting somewhere, getting somewhere. Oh, oh, that's too bad. But yeah, Minesweeper works. You got Winamp. Winamp does work. Winamp was an old media application that you could use back in the Windows, uh, Windows XP days. Um, that does, in fact, it looks like it works. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that works. That definitely works. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that, that definitely works. I don't even want the microphone to pick it up, but that works. Um, let's see what else is here. Does it resize? Winamp. Oh, it does resize. So you can pick the thing. Uh, it does work. Okay, that's nice. Winamp does work. All right, and the X. Windows XP was a different kind of era. I like how this about me is kind of embedded inside the file explorer. So if I click on GitHub right now, it goes to his actual GitHub on all his projects, his website. I'm going to just let him shout out his website through this. It's pretty nice. All right. So now we have uh, Internet Explorer. Like I said, I went through it. Favorites and all this stuff do not do anything. But in a nutshell, it is exactly how Internet Explorer looked like uh, back during those days when I was in my heydays of computing. Uh, and then we can go to, uh, when I'm, what about paint? He said paint worked. Let's see if paint in fact does work. Uh, that paint full fledged Microsoft paint works inside this, uh, web, web app. Essentially this is a web app, but it's not really, it's just kind of a, a web experience. So paint does in fact work. If I want to use a brush, it does in fact work. So that's pretty nice. Actually, this, this application is, or this experience is pretty nice in my opinion. So. All right, so that one is WinXP in React. Let's jump to the next one here. Uh, get away from the website. All right, this one is, for those of you out there who are watching this channel who are using Mac OS, this is definitely for you. I still technically use Mac OS. I have an M1 Mac right here. Uh, this one was inspired by the one we just saw. So let's take a look at uh, Mac OS uh, in Svet. So let's take a look. It's loading. Okay. So this one looks really clean as well. All these look really clean. This mimics Monterey, Mac, Mac OS Monterey. So if I click the Apple logo about this Mac, does it do anything? System preferences, app store, recent, force quit. I'm not going to click any of these. What about finder? About finder, anything work? No. What about new folder, new finder window? Any of these work at all? No, none of these work, but it looks nice. That's all we can really say. Um, going through, we got your dark mode. It says current wallpaper settings, prevent changing items, go to wallpapers. All right. Change, uh, as wallpapers change. Okay. So if I scroll down, Ooh, does he, Oh, he embedded a lot of new wallpapers in here. This is nice. I can already tell that this was taken from, um, a certain website I've been to. I, I've been to this website. I like this Blade Runner 2149 blood diamond. Ooh, this looks really good. I probably shouldn't do that for the YouTube purposes of having blood. Uh, let's keep it like this. This is clean anime. You gotta, you gotta stick with your anime. All right. So this is pretty nice. It's got a light and dark mode. Um, obviously it brings everything bright depending on the wallpaper. I like a dark mode, turn off animations. And I'm guessing that just means that when I open up, uh, different things, yep, there'd be no animation other than, and even these icons don't like increase in size or anything like that. Other than up here, this kind of increases in size. Let's see animations. Yep, see, now you got the smooth animations for how the zoom feature is on Mac OS's uh, dock down there. It just looks good. I got to say, this is amazing work. I wish a website that I would make would just look like something like, like an OS. I wish nextwindows.com turned out to be like an OS. That'd be pretty amazing. Once again, got about the developer. Only this one is even cooler because it doesn't just... It's not just a link that goes to the developer's website. It opens up almost like a, an application inside this OS that shows the developer's information. Um, and then it then you can click on all these links to go to various things like Twitter. It'll open up and so on. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. And then the nice minimize, you can view the source. Basically, you can view where this application's uh, GitHub entry is powered by Versal. So you can see here. This is the this is what the developer used to create uh, this Mac OS and Svet, um, and then support Ukraine so you can donate to Ukraine's cause. 
So yeah, this is, this is pretty nice as well. I gotta say, these people are doing amazing, amazing work. All right, so for this last one here, I want to actually go down and I wanna go down here. This is one of the ones that was made with no code from Mini Vannon. Uh, this link just goes to Twitter, and so you can view uh, his stuff on Twitter. Let's take a look at Windows 11 Web by Mini Vannon. Now this one I can already tell is far different from all the other ones out there in that the icons are a lot smaller. Uh, does search work? Nope, search does not work. It looks like a lot of them just can't seem to change the, the interface of search or at all have it at all. But start menu, it's there, PowerPoint. You can click on all the various icons. Uh-oh, if I click Twitter, it goes to his Twitter. I'm sure LinkedIn also goes to his LinkedIn as well. Uh, Instagram, I bet a lot of these, they actually go to like his social media, which is kind of clever. Xbox doesn't work. I kind of wish uh, the Xbox icon would just go to like xbox.com right? And then Spotify will go to Spotify.com. I wish these were just URLs just for the fun of it. Um, so they would still work. You can still go to office online, only it'd make you log in. So I kind of wish that would be the case. Let's see all applications. Does that do anything? No. And if I click this, anything here that doesn't work. Okay. So I kind of wish, I guess if I was to critique this too, I would say, uh, maybe this, uh, the account icon, maybe make it open up a program that then, um, allows you to just see a pop-up in here of all the stuff that the person is doing all their social media channels that'd be pretty amazing task view does not work widgets does not work uh edge says coming soon and you notice that the uh the minimize maximize and x button like remove remove button essentially are uh kind of small compared to how it is in windows 11 and 10 and all the other ones file explorer does not work let's see store mail office and then this button here this just takes you this would normally take you away but this is just telling you what it was made in so that's in my opinion pretty pretty dope in terms of having to create uis i know this thing can definitely be um fine-tuned and made it just made just better i know there's no practical purpose in these except for just ui tests and seeing if things can be done and how well they can be done but that's the type of stuff I love the most. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this stuff. Like these four individual developers, creators, um, and their kind of mock-ups of various OSs. Um, there is one actually, before I even go, um, and this one is Ubuntu, Ubuntu Web. I think I kind of avoided it on accident because I didn't know much about it. But once again, this is a similar concept too um, by Viv, about VivTech, yep, Vivek9 Patel. So let's see if Chrome works. Okay, so far looking like positive news. Let's see if I can type in Engadget. Did this man go that far and get browsing to work? Oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's see. No, it didn't work. Is it gonna work? Nothing? Oh, let's see Las, uh, let's see uh, New Jersey banning plastic bags. Oh, some of these websites work. I'm very surprised. And this is today's date, May 4th. Yeah, I'm very surprised this actually works. I'm, I'm shocked. I just got to say so far, because the browser alone works, I got to say Vivek, uh, this is probably the best one so far out of this video. So, wow. And then the X, it also works. Smooth animation, like clean. Contact me if I double click it. Uh, it's like a command prompt style thing, but instead you just type in your information, subject field and things like that and hit send up there and it sends him an email, which is amazing. Uh, you got VS code and see how that pops up. Still pretty good. This is unable to load Ubuntu.javascript. That's fine. Uh, terminal still works. Yep. Terminal still works. Uh, settings. Let's see how settings work. Settings is also, this is similar to the Mac OS one where it has a lot of different wallpapers and things like that. I still kind of like this one though. Um, it's good. And what about Spotify? Let's see. Did he, did this person? Okay. So this is like a personal playlist that he created top 50 India. Um, okay. And then what about here? The applications trash can, does trash can work? I, I can already tell you, I'm not even gonna click on everything now. I can already tell you I'm in love with this one. He literally thought of everything, of having everything work exactly how it should. Calculator. If I want to go to calculator, let's see what happens. Uh, calc is open software. Type exit. What happens if I do one plus one? 
too. Wow. So even the application works. It's not like a nice GUI graphical interface, uh, but it works. Wow. All right. Yeah, now I'm done. Now I'm done. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. It's already 11.17. I'm tired. You can hear by my voice. It sounds a little different. But I thought I'd highlight these kind of things because this is pretty amazing, in my opinion. People creating whole OSs that you can kind of use on the web or try to use on the web just to practice using the OS. Let's say you're about to buy a MacBook for the first time in like 20 years and you want to try Mac OS without having to leave your house. You can just open up this one, macOSweb.app, and then you can see how macOS kind of feels uh, for the first time in 20 years on the web, which is pretty amazing. I know this is not the first one out there, the only one out there. There's probably others that are even more fleshed out, but this is amazing in my opinion. All of these are really well done. So kudos to developers. My name is Kwaku. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below again, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.